Hello, in this video today I'm going to talk through step 2 in the migration checklist which is to access your RM Easy Mail account, to forward on any emails you may need and to download any attachments. So to begin with I've accessed the RM Easy Mail login screen. If you're on a curricular machine you should be able to go to the start menu and then go to either internet tools or your own software and access the RM login through that. Otherwise, I'm going to paste this link here in the description below where it says school. If you then just change that to the pattern you have, as in for me, it's Aeroston dash pry. But I know other schools have slightly different patterns. After that, it's then just a case of logging in with your normal login details. Once you've done that, you will then be brought into your RM Easy Mail account. And it will look something like this. So, if you're then looking to download specific attachments, what I usually recommend to people is if you see this column here, it talks about the size. So, those ones with attachments will usually be the biggest sort of emails. So, if I just click on size there, it'll then change it to organize it through the size. And um, it may take a wee moment, so you will just have to wait with that. Um, it's currently sorted by descending. We probably want to change it so it's ascending instead. And then that comes up. So once we've got that, we've got two options on how we're going to sort those emails and how we're going to make sure that we've got them stored. So the first option, if I access this one, is I could forward it onto my new email address. So to do that, what I'll do is we'll click on this email, it'll then load up, um, and then it would just be a case of up here, clicking forward, and then forwarding it onto your new email address. So at this point in time, we're still using the Glow login, um, the, the sort of um, default Glow email address, so that's what I'm going to type in here, um, but that might have changed depending on when you're watching this. So, two, I'm just going to type in my new email address, which is gw10 brownstuart2 at glow.shgo.uk, and then I just click send. And now I'll just simply forward it on along with all these documents that I have attached. So then, when later on I log into my new email address, you'll see that that email is already there. The other thing we could have done though is we could have simply clicked on it. And we could have chosen to download all of these documents one at a time. So that can either be done by just simply clicking on it or by going to right click and choosing to save link as. Um, if you're on a Windows machine, it would usually be save target as. And when I do that, if I just click on it to show you, it'll pop up and it's just downloading it straight there. So those are the two ways to make sure that all those important documents are either forwarded on so you've got a copy of that or that they're downloaded and then you make sure that you've got them somewhere safe and then that will ensure that you don't lose them thank you for watching goodbye